Hello there everybody and you've joined me as I preview Wolves match against Fulham. As you can see, I am wearing clothes from the Paul Lambert collection. <laughs> Wolves have been on a li decent little run recently, the last three games have drawn against Ipswich and won against Rotherham and Brentford. Uh, two quite differing victories, but victories nonetheless. Really good comeback and a late comeback, which I think is going to give them a real boost going into this match, which is the last game before the international break. Next game after that is on the 1st of April, so a couple of weeks off for the majority of the players. Wolves have enjoyed good recent history against Fulham. They've won three and drawn three of their last six games, so they're unbeaten in that period. They won on their last visit to Craven Cottage 3-0 back in September 2015. Fulham have had quite mixed form recently. They've dropped points against teams like Cardiff and Blackburn recently, but they went and beat Newcastle United last week really comfortably 3-1 away from home. So they're quite difficult to predict at the moment, but they're, they've got some really top quality players, particularly in the midfield. If Fulham are going to win the game on Saturday, it's going to be in the midfield because of the top quality they've got there. They're able to keep possession really well and they're able to pass the ball effectively with players like uh, Tom Kearney, Kevin McDonald and Scott Parker. They've got a really good balanced midfield who are able to get the ball forward to Chris Martin who we of course tried to sign in the summer and has scored 11 goals this season so he's guaranteed to score again probably on Saturday. I do think that Wolves will have plenty of chances. The way that they played against Brentford they were able to get the ball forward more effectively and that seems to have been the case for the majority of the season. We've, we seem to be more confident in possession away from home than we are at home. I don't know why that is but every time I've watched Wolves at home this season it's been very negative and slow moving the ball through the midfield and up to the attackers whereas away from home they seem to be more confident and able to use the ball really well. I think the game against Brentford taught us that full-backs need to play full-back. Matt Doherty played really well and as I said in my video after the Brentford game, he's got that knowledge to be at the back post, to make that late run, whereas George Saville, he's not sure of how to play left back because he's not a left back. Mike Williamson will come in for Danny Bart. Cordy Hawes has been playing really well recently as well, so he won't be dropped. Billy Query is right back. Will he play IOR for or Cody? Both have been playing quite well recently. Up front, we have got options. I think that's what we've been missing up until recently, and they do seem to be working. Well, they worked on Tuesday night. Cavalier has come off the bench in the last two games and made a difference. He looked good against Rotherham, didn't really get on the ball much, but a couple of good runs and a couple of good balls in. He, of course, set up Costa's goal on Tuesday night and, by all accounts, looked really threatening. So whether he will start on Saturday is a, another question because the impact that he's had from the bench, I think, will, has been really important in these two wins. And whether Lambert might think of starting with... Costa and Vyman and Dicko like he has done and bring in Cavalier on for that second half and for it's almost like a second win for the team I think could work again so we'll see what he does there. As for the midfield I think Edwards so long as he can keep that in intensity that he showed on Tuesday night should definitely start. I know he's bit played in fits and starts recently but he's made the Wales squad because of his good form over a longer period of time. Lee Evans had a very, very good game on Tuesday night. He was very effective. His passing was much better. And I think he's what we've missed. And uh, lots of people questioned recently when he was given a three-year contract. But I think Lambert sees something in him. I've certainly seen an improvement in him this season. And hopefully, if he gets over these few injuries that he's had, he can press on and have a really good end to the season. And probably be a key part of our squad next season. The only query I've got in midfield at the moment is between Price and Sice. I definitely start with Edwards and Evans, but I'm not sure about the holding midfield role. George Saville played on Tuesday night, but I don't think he is what we need. We need somebody in that role, away from home, to just offer that little bit more protection for the back four, particularly now against a really strong midfield. We need that terrier-like performance from Price on Saturday so I would play Price I wouldn't be surprised if he played Sice but I didn't like the way that he dropped into the back four to make it a five at, against Rotherham and in terms of a prediction I'm in quite a good mood I think about the game because of what happened on Tuesday night and with a bit of luck I think we could nick a 1-0 win I'd love New Dicko to score again he came so close on Tuesday night hitting the bar I hope that Tuesday was 
a step in the right direction, not just a flash in the pan. And the way they came back and the, you know, the reaction from the fans, everybody's on side. I think all these people calling for Lambert to get sacked now. Hopefully that'll die down. Particularly if we get a draw, if we get a win, you can you'll be all right for the rest of the season. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe. You can also check out my other previews and reviews on this screen now. Drop a like if you've enjoyed it. Please comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if you, if you disagree with anything that I've said or agree. To so comment down below your predictions for the game. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.